Hi you guys, how's it going? I'm back. Uh, we're going to do some skill of the week stuff. This week it's all about making gifts from your home. Uh, easy, on budget. And today we're going to start with some gifts from the pantry. So we're going to fill up a few jars with some goodies and give you some ideas, hopefully, to make some, some nice little gifts for friends and family. Um, hopefully with stuff you have right at home. Hi, thanks for joining me. So I'll just hang out just a minute before I get started and uh, see who's going to join. And then I'll show you just a couple little ideas. And if you guys uh, have my blog, if you subscribe to my blog, I posted a few recipes on there. A whole bunch of other ideas um, along with what we're doing this week. So you want to check it out. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I think I put the link on my, my Megan Lane coaching page, consulting page. I'll have a look <laughs> it's there anyway I'll make sure you guys get it uh, it's got some some good ideas and some recipes so let's get started all right so I got all my my goodies laid out over here we're gonna start with what I think is a really really cool idea and I use it all the time myself um, and it's stovetop potpourri um, jars these ones are kind of small they're like for one-time use only uh, you can do bigger jars of these, but I thought, for examples, we'd do two. And these are really nice. Um, I myself always, I don't have one right now, but yesterday, um, I just took it off to clean it. I had a star of anise and some cinnamon and orange peels and a few other things mixed in a pot. And I just keep it on my stove and it lets a nice, natural, warm scent in the air. So these are really cool little gift ideas and I want to show you two really simple ones um, we're gonna start with an apple one and then we're gonna make like a pine one so these are really easy a whole bunch of ingredients here so dry apples and they look really pretty in a jar that's why I chose a jar you can put them in a bag too if you want a fragrance bag um, that way they can be used um, in a bowl they don't have to be put in the stovetop they can be put like in a drawer so that's another way to use them I also have some lemon and orange peel. I don't think we're gonna, I think we'll use one orange peel just because it's pretty. Just because. So I dry these just behind my stove. I did some in the stove, but they, I got it too hot and <laughs> they burnt. So, and then we need some goodies. We need some herbs, those stuff from the pantry, guys. So what else do we got here? All right, so this stuff all smells really good. If you guys don't have a fully stocked pantry of herbs, I recommend you go get some. Uh, like this was the most expensive herb. I, this whole jar filled up at the bulk store. It cost me less than $4. So some of them are expensive. Woo! Yes, I wish you could smell that. <laughs> some of them are expensive, but they're not like ridiculous. Stock up on your spices. Cinnamon, love cinnamon, and cloves. So, and I think we'll put some bay leaves in this one too. Have some somewhere. Here we go, bay leaves. So these smell really nice as well. These are really nice uh, to put in any kind of stovetop potpourri because they last a really long time. So pretty much you just fill up your jar and like this is it. This is all you're doing. Put a couple of each things in there. Make sure it looks real pretty, you know. And you just, if you want to print out instructions, I'll see if I can find a link. Uh, otherwise, you just write on a card, you know, put in water. Uh, this one, this will be about two cups. So add with two cups of water, simmer on stove until water's gone. Uh, you can do it up to three times. Like that's, that's really it. So if it will break that one up. See, like look how pretty it looks. And I didn't really do anything. And all you have to do is tie a little ribbon, a little tag on there, and I mean, how long are we on here? Two minutes? Throw a little leaf in there. Maybe put the orange right on top. And there you go. One gift done. It didn't cost a whole lot. It certainly didn't take a whole lot of time. Could probably add a little bit more in the bottom there just to fill it in. But there you go. There's one jar. Done. Somebody's getting that one. <laughs> so we're going to actually use these again, not the bay leaf. Oh, it smells really nice, though, the bay leaf. 
All right, we're gonna fill this one up. This one is gonna be kind of, I call it forced delight. I made that up. <laughs> so this one, I have lemon peels. I just dried out my lemon peels. That's it. Now I didn't do slices of lemon because they kind of go black sometimes and they don't look really pretty. Well, I don't think they look really pretty. They look burnt, even though they're not. So, and then something that's not from the pantry guys, but it's probably in your front yard and this is balsam. We're gonna use a little bit of balsam because it looks really pretty, smells amazing. And we only really need a couple pieces to sneak in here. So I grabbed a whole bunch. I'll have to make more jars. <laughs> but like this one is really easy to, you know, put in your pine, a couple cinnamon sticks, a couple lemon skins, some more cloves. You have to put in the star of anise because that's just so fragrant. And then again, just, you know, do it again. Let's see if we can stick that down in there. I mean, these are, I don't even want to give these away. You guys aren't getting these. I'm going to keep them. That's the plan. Let's put it all in there. See, why not? A cinnamon stick. There we go. Give this a combination. Maybe do three of them. And there you go. You got some nice little beautiful gifts and like, look how pretty that looks. Very festive and you can make them the day of. You don't have to make them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. The pine might start to, or the balsam might start to come off a little bit in the jar if you make it too, too much ahead. But super easy, super easy. And like I said, you just can write out or print out some instructions, even put it in their card. And I can smell them through the jars. Really nice. So there you go. One gift idea from your pantry. So easy. I mixed up all my legs. I have a bad habit of doing that. <laughs> How's it going, guys? What do you think? You're going to make some of these for your friends and family? Pull out some of those herbs, dry out some fruits, collect some greenery. You could even put some, like, pine cones in here. Um, you could mix uh, some, say, some vanilla extract, natural, organic vanilla extract on some pine cones and acorns and throw them in there as well. Why not? So there's tons of ideas you could do with these um these little jars but there's just two for you the animals are going crazy <laughs> so there's two to start you off and i actually wanted to show you some stuff i made my daughter um which i'm not finished this one yet but i got these little little containers here which is what i use my for my bath shots but what i did is look i remember i think i posted it the other day i was gonna try this so i got hot chocolate i got little chocolate curls another hot chocolate, and marshmallows. And I mean, this is just really cute. Put in a stocking or gift bag. Yeah, you should. I know you're, cutting, <laughs> I know you're out there cutting greenery, so cut a couple extra. They're really good. So, and this, I'm going to make a little movie package um, put together. I got a little thing of popcorn here. Uh, my neighbor actually gave me this jar full of delicious maple syrup he made. Um, if you're watching, Brian, I ate it all <laughs> myself, and I saved the jar. So I'm going to give it away as a gift with the popcorn seeds in there. And then what I made, and I'll try to post the recipes after, but I made these spice shots, and this one is ranch, and this one is sweet Cajun. And I'm going to put it together, a little movie pack. And together, they have a couple nights of popcorn with flavor. Try and avoid using the butter. And that's just another little gift idea right from the pantry, guys. And this is literally uh, about six herbs, some salt and sugar in that one. And I think this one's only about five herbs. So I'll try and get the recipes up for these ones. This one, the ranch is, oh my God, they're really good. So there you go. These, is this what you're asking about? <laughs> so these actually you can use for cooking as well. Um, I made them into powder in my, I don't know if you can see my coffee grinder. Um, I made them into powder so they go on popcorn, but if you didn't make them into powder, you could just use them for really any kind of food that you were cooking with. Uh, the Cajun one is really nice. I'm plant-based, so I like to make like a um, Cajun cauliflower, and this one would be really good for that. Same with some uh, roasted vegetables 
and ranch well just put ranch on anything <laughs> it's just it's ranch <laughs> need i say more <laughs> i love ranch <laughs> all right so and last but not least this is probably not new to you guys but in case you've never made them before i wanted to show you how to make a really easy and really pretty sugar scrub and tea bath so i got these little jars and i just want to show you again just a little tag a little ribbon and then i'm gonna fill it up and it's gonna look really fancy i know right ranch it's i had to stop eating regular ranch because you know it's not plant-based but this this little packet of deliciousness <laughs> i'll give you some if you want um it's just ranch deliciousness without without the creamy and you can put it on anything and you can actually mix it with um like some buttermilk uh, powder or even skim milk powder uh, make it like a, a sauce with it I won't do that but you can do it <laughs> all right so let's start with the salt because it's really easy and I want to show you with ingredients from your house that's not salt that's not salt so this is sea salt this is really big sea salt but I also have the regular stuff you can use that as well I'm going to use the big one, but again, it's up to you. Either or works just fine. Do not use iodized salt for this, guys. If you don't have sea salt, you can get some. This whole jar will cost you like a dollar ten. Nothing. It will cost you nothing. And <laughs> some baking soda. So this is just the basis of what you guys could do at home. If you want to soup it up a little bit like I do for my stuff in my shop, um, you can get fancier with your oils and your butters. But what we are going to start with is really simply we are going to start with some sea salt we're gonna get real fancy and get some pink himalayan salt i have a tea somewhere so you know all those teas that you collect over time people buy you and they smell and look really pretty they taste really gross we all have those teas in our cupboard guys i know so the ones that smell really pretty this is the time we can use them in our salt baths this is called a tea salt bath, and it's like the whole rage right now, I guess. So this blend right here is really nice. It smells really nice when you see it. Um, it doesn't taste so good, but it's pomegranate and rosehip, and there's this blue flower in there. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Butterfly flower. And uh, what else is in there? Some black tea and some pomegranate stuff. So this is gonna be our scent, it's gonna smell awesome. And this is gonna be our, our decor. So we're just not even gonna measure, why should we? So we're just gonna layer it up with that. Like see how easy? What do you think, yeah? And then, then the hardest thing ever. We're gonna put some tea in here. Just work it around a bit so you can actually see the layers. It's not that complicated. And it looks really pretty already. Tap it down a bit. So now with this, you can also add in I didn't, but I, I do with the stuff in my store. You can add in some coconut oil. Uh, do not use olive oil. It goes a bit rancid. It doesn't smell very nice. Um, I think we're going to take some of that out. That doesn't smell very nice. So coconut oil, shea butter, any of those work really well. I'm going to take some more. I didn't put too much in there. I was talking too much. You guys, there we go. <laughs> uh, all right. So the Himalayan salt is pricey if you don't keep it in your pantry. Uh, that's okay. Um, I even left out the baking soda. That's okay too. So you can put the baking soda in if you want. It's just really for a softener. And I would only put in a small layer or you can mix it with the salt if you want. Put this on top. Now what you want to do is you want to actually get it as close to the top as you can so it keeps its shape and form in there. And I like to press it in a bit. Give it one good tap. A little bit more. So, seriously. There you go. 
there's another gift spa <laughs> in a jar it took me a whole five minutes I used up this old tea that doesn't taste good but smells fantastic and it's only gonna cost a couple dollars from stuff out of my pantry so there you go then you just tell them I think I have a little spoon here you go two scoops in your bath Merry Christmas <laughs> so there you go so we got a couple things on the go over here and last but not least this one's for fun this is a sugar sugar body scrub and since I didn't use this we'll put this away so what I did is I busted up a whole bunch of these candy canes we're gonna mix it with some sugar and we're gonna mix it with some coconut oil which I have somewhere right here we're just gonna put a little bit in there it's gonna make it nice and soft so we can rub it all over our skin and it's gonna feel amazing and we're gonna smell like Christmas candy so if you have any fellas out there who love Christmas candy it's gonna happen you know I know you guys know I just make some space here. All right, okay, there we go. All right, so sugar body scrub, guys. So easy, so easy, and I got a jar ready to go. Are you surprised? Do so you guys have any questions? I'm yammering really fast. If you do, make sure you pop them up there. If you need any more ideas, let me know. I'm full of them. I have all kinds of links and resources saved as well. Let's sit down. You can see more of my face. <laughs> All right. So this is about a half, uh, about a quarter cup, I'd say. About a quarter cup. It was three sticks, three and a half sticks of this peppermint candy cane. And I actually measured out already three quarters of a cup of sugar. We don't want to mix it all. Just a little bit of the sugar in there. And we have a little bit of the coconut oil that I pre-melted. This is two tablespoons, so I'm gonna put half of it in here. And then I'm gonna put half of it in here. I'm gonna find a spoon, maybe. There's one. <laughs> <coughs> we just had dinner, I haven't had a chance to, to clean up yet. So I just mix it up. So if you don't have coconut oil, um, Olive, uh, not olive oil, almond oil works if you keep that. If you don't, you can leave out the oil. I don't recommend putting olive oil in this. It smells after a little while. Let's mix that up. But uh, this is also good. I like to use, in the ones I sell in my shop, I use a lot of shea butter and um, cocoa butter. But, I mean, you probably won't have that in your pantry like I do. All right, so we're gonna try and make this one a little pretty too. I think I need another spoon. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna mix it together, kinda. Bend that down a bit. So see guys, it's really easy to come up with some, some cute little stuff from your pantry. Uh, also, things you can make are like uh, milk baths, if you have powdered milks, uh, you can make them with oat milk as well, that's what I make, and I'm going to be posting some in my shop soon. I made a whole bunch for some family for Christmas uh, that uh, doesn't need to have milk on their skin. <laughs> so they're getting oat milk, lavender, and a few other things, and it's just, the basis is just crushed up oats, uh, a little bit of baking soda. You can put in salts if you want. All kinds of things. Like I said, if you guys want some ideas for some cheap, easy recipes, spa at home even for yourself, make sure you let me know. I'll hook you up. All right, so we get a little layer there. I should have changed spoons, but I didn't. So, and again, you just give this just like this, and all they have to do is take a scoop out in their hand, or you, if you're keeping this for yourself. You can mix it up if you want, or they can mix it up. Totally optional. And it'd be nice if you can put a little candy cane in there. I didn't 
grab one because I chopped them all up. Little ribbon, little tie, and there you go. Another little gift. I mean, it's really simple. A young girl would love this. Uh, even a little kid, you know, a little six-year-old girl playing with makeup. They love putting this stuff on their, their skin. And, heck, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I love this stuff too. <laughs> I actually have some in my, my bath that I meant for the shop and <laughs> never made it there because i love it so much not this kind it's uh blackberry sage so eventually i'll make it to this, make more for the shop because i absolutely love the uh the sugar scrubs so and in case you don't know what this is for this is for exfoliating your skin and it's really good for after you shave your legs it's good for even your face um rough hands and same with the salt you can throw it in the bath or you can use it to scrub up with good to go so there you go, guys. We filled a few jars. I think we made some really cute gifts. Really easy, really simple. And if you guys want the recipes for these, make sure you let me know. And again, this is just hot chocolate and some marshmallows. You could fill it up with really anything you want. Dollar store um, containers. And that's it. That's all. So... There you guys go. That's our first, um, I guess, project. <laughs> our first set of gift ideas. Now, Thursday, there's nothing too crazy. I'm just, I got a sign, uh, a wood that I'm going to paint with some pretty decorations. I was going to do some leaf printing and framing and stuff, but I don't want to do it. I have another idea for a friend of mine, so we're going to go with the wood. Very simple. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to come on live maybe for a minute to show you. It's pretty much just going to be wood <laughs> with a stencil and some paintings and a cute saying. So these are really simple, easy ideas that you guys can, can do yourself with, with things you have laying around the house. If, especially if you have a homestead like me and have crap everywhere. Uh, you can find stuff in nature, find stuff in your pantry, and save a whole lot of money, and give some really cute, nice things that people will appreciate because you took the time to make it and plan for it. So, there you go. So like I said, you guys have any questions, want these recipes, I'll try and get this one posted. I'm pretty sure I have it <laughs> not just written down. I wrote them down. I wrote the recipes down yesterday, but I think I have them in my phone. So I'll post those. And uh, I mean, you guys can make a million different versions of these right here. This was just Christmas version and just what I had. So there you go. So thanks for hanging out. I hope to see your guys' ideas. Please feel free to post anytime. I love to see your ideas as much as me sharing mine. Because where do you think I get my ideas from? <laughs> just kidding. All right. Have a good one, guys. I'm going to clean up my mess. Put my supper stuff away. And uh, have a good one. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.